I'll be honest with you, I was really nervous about coming home to perform for the hometown crowd. How would they react? Would they accept me back? Would they even show up at all? Would I put on a good show or would I choke? As it turns out, all my fears were unfounded. Maybe the old saying is wrong. Maybe you can go home again. to be here. You know, it's great doing magic in a beautiful theater, like the one we have here at the Kentucky Center for the Arts. I didn't always have a nice place to do my magic. I started working nightclubs when I was 17 years old, worked a lot of dives, a lot of unsavory type places. Uh, you know, Frank Sinatra always considered himself to be a saloon singer. Let's drink to the magic and the mystery of you. I guess that makes me a saloon sorcerer. There's so many choices in life, you see. Now, no matter how successful Sinatra got, he always included a saloon song in his concerts. One day your glass is empty, the next day. With that in mind, I'd like to show you the ultimate saloon magic trick. It seems you always disappear from me. This is called the bottle and glass trick. The idea is very simple. It's to make the glass go from this side of the table to this side of the table, and to make the bottle go from this side of the table over to... <laughs> Sorry, folks, I seem to have packed too many bottles. I have to start over. Uh, it's called the bottle and glass trick. Uh, the, you know, I should explain, uh, when you're doing magic with breakable things like bottles and glasses, you always need to have extras around backstage in case of accidents. That's why we had an extra bottle. Uh, the idea of the trick is very simple. It's to make the bottle go from this side to this side and the glass go from this side to this side. You can't touch them though. That's why you have the two tubes. All you do is snap your fingers and they change places. Yep, it worked. That's the easy part. The hard part is to make them go back. I should explain this trick works better if the audience has consumed the contents of the bottle before you start. If you're sober, you don't believe me when I tell you it's very easy to make them change places. It's very difficult to make them go back. Just remember, tube number one always goes over the bottle. Tube number two, <laughs> sorry folks, I seem to have packed too many bottles. Tube number two goes over the glass, which becomes a bottle. The bottle becomes a glass. Number one covers the bottle. Number two, too many bottles. Number two covers the glass, which becomes a bottle. The bottle becomes a glass. Frank Sinatra would have loved that trick. You know, if Sinatra had done this trick, I'll bet he could do it with just one tube. The glass becomes a bottle, the bottle becomes a glass. If you do it that way, though, I should point out, you do have to have an extra bottle, which the audience is unaware of. A bottle, glass, glass bottle, as long as you have an extra bottle hidden away. Oh, it'll work with either tube. Makes no difference. As long as you have an extra bottle hidden away. Oh, I know, you think I can't do the trick. Unless I use two bottles. I'll prove I can do the trick with just 
one bottle. I'll mark the bottle with the little yellow handkerchief. Now, you can tell that bottle apart from all the rest. And when the glass and the bottle change places, you'll know it's the same bottle. That's the easy part. The hard part is to make them go back. <laughs> well, if you do it that way, you need two extra bottles. When you see a bottle in a glass, you always hear a toast. Till then, I guess I'll buy another round. May the good Lord take a liking to you, but not too soon. Thanks, Lance. You're marvelous. Simply marvelous. Sinatra lover. Thank you. You're very kind. Thank you.